Hey guys, this is my submission to the Cooler Master Case Mod World Series Contest. Uh, it is a 3D printed tank. It was printed literally from the ground up. It has uh, moving parts, both the turret and the uh, tracks all move. There's actually 100 pieces of track on each side of the tank. Um, I'm going to demonstrate here um, how it, you can turn it into a, or plug it in as a computer. It's fairly simple to do. Um, you basically take the back cover off. Once you have the back cover off, you grab your cables, plug them in, uh, DVI, uh, there's eight, actually eight USB cords there, power, network, audio cables, um, all of that's there and um, it's very easy to plug in. Um, once it's all plugged in, which it, you know, it only takes a minute or so, the, the hardest part actually is getting the cables through the uh, trap on the back. Um, it just takes a second to set up. It's just because it's a cable cover and, um, you know, it, it does its job. It's just what it is. Um, but uh, once it's all set up, turn it on. And once it's turned on, uh, the computer boots up, goes into Windows, um, just like any other computer at that point. Uh, it's very simple to use. A couple things do go on on the, com on the tank as this is happening. The... Uh, power that the computer has actually charges the battery in the turret which um, keeps the webcam working um, and also the power from the uh, pow power supply um, charges the batteries in the tank so the tank can be driven around. Uh, it takes a couple hours to charge but you get you know 15 20 minutes of driving around on it and uh, it's got to be one of the coolest computers that I have ever uh, played with. It's definitely the coolest computer I've ever built. I'm very happy with it. Uh, the controller that's right there in the center of the screen, that's the controller I use to um, control the tank. Um, it has a NVIDIA Shield tablet on it. Um, underneath the covers, where the uh, at the front of the tank are the power buttons. One of them turns the actual RC part on and off. The other part turns the power of the computer on and off. Um, you, as you can watch here, the computer itself is plenty powerful enough to do anything that you'd want to do. Um, it has a 4770K processor in it. Um, it has 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got a 256 gig SSD hard drive. And it has a 750Ti super clocked EVGA video card. Um, it's also running a 550 watt Cooler Master power supply. And actually, to keep the whole thing cool, I have a 120 millimeter Cooler Master power, uh, fan which more than does the job at pulling all the hot air out of the case and blowing it out the front. Um, I'm going to load up World of Tanks here. Um, everything's running off of the computer right now. And uh, I'll show you what I can do in World of Tanks. You can see that it runs, you know, fine. It does take a second to load, but that's not because of the computer, obviously. That's just the game, if you're familiar with it. The tank actually moves very easily with the mouse. Um, I mean, the 750 Ti is a fairly good card. Obviously not top of the line, but it, it definitely does this without a problem. Um, I can load up games, I can play games, and in this actual picture or video here, you're actually seeing the Tiger One tank being run from the Tiger One tank, which I thought was just one of the coolest things about this. Um, one of the inspirations of this were, was the Tiger tank um, from, you know, uh, World of Tanks. I use that as a lot of my measuring. The barrel was actually elongated because the one from World of Tanks is not accurate to the real tank from anything that I can find, but it looks much better in my opinion with the longer barrel. So I actually made the barrel longer to follow World of Tanks. Um, and as you can see here, as I'm playing through it, um, or playing through this game here, uh, the, the game plays perfectly well. I think I get like one or two kills before I exit out of there. Um, it's just an amazing, uh, uh, everything works. It does its job exa you know, exactly well, or very well. Um, the detail is astronomical. The amount of print time that it took to make this was astronomical. Um, there's just so much going on here. Uh, the webcam actually, there's another thing to point out. The webcam on the top of the tank can actually be used from anywhere in the world. And it has... Um, it can be used for my phone, it can be used from the tablet that I can, can uh, mount on the top of the controller, um, and I can mount my phone on top of the controller as well. But the cool thing is, is it's sitting in my office area. I can literally just remote into it any time, and I can look around my room. And, you know, the, the cool side effect of that is, is if you're in my room or somebody who just happens to, uh, you know, 
my girlfriend's in there or something else is going on, they're literally staring down the barrel of a Tiger One tank that's aimed at them while it's looking at what's going on in there. So I thought it was just kind of a cool side effect. And there, I have had absolutely zero issues with the camera itself. Um, it is an amazing, uh, everything works. It just does its job. Um, I think that this is, it will definitely compete very well. The back of the tank comes off. The cables are all plugged in. There's eight USB cords back here. Uh, uh, DVI cable, um, power, network. Um, everything can be unplugged, taken out of the tank. Put that off the side. The turret comes off the top of the tank. Um, there's actually three covers inside the turret. There's a, uh, a Wi-Fi PTZ camera and a battery in there. The battery charges off of USB off the computer. Um, the PTZ camera can move it left and right and up and down. The wireless antenna is right there. The top of the, or the turret comes off the tank. Under the turret, there are three windows. Um, underneath the windows, you will find the video card. Under the video card is the motherboard. Um, there's also a SSD. In the front here, there's a 550-watt um, GX uh, Cooler Master power supply. Um, behind all of the plugs and whatnot, um, underneath is the motherboard. Um, up on top, there are two chargers. The chargers charge the two batteries. Um, the batteries are charged automatically whenever the computer's on, as the chargers are powered by the um, power supply. Um, and that goes back to the batteries. Um, on the front of the tank, there's a Cooler Master 120 millimeter fan that blows all the air out of the tank, uh, keeps the cool tank cool on the inside. So it's blown in by the power supply across the computer and then out the front. Works very well. Underneath the two covers are the power buttons. Uh, this one turns the computer on. This one turns the RC part of the computer or the RC part of the tank on. Um, underneath the front of the t computer, are, there's a uh, the transmission, uh, the t motors, the gears, uh, the wiring that covers the rest of the RC components, um, and right there is the LED light that turns on when you turn the computer on and off. And that's pretty much the whole tank. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed building it, and good luck to everyone inside the contest.